for Julian's human rights. The United Nations Rapporteur on Torture, as, Julie, as Gabrielle just reported, made a de determination, 26 pages long, submitted to the United Nations General Assembly, accepted by the United Nations General Assembly, and ignored by the very authors, the United Kingdom and the United States and Sweden, ignored by the authors of those conventions and signatories to those conventions. The United Nations Working Group on Arbitrary Detention 2017 made a determination that Julian was arbitrarily detained and ought to be freed and paid compensation by those states, the United States, Sweden and the United Kingdom. The report was derided by the signatories, the United Kingdom principally in Parliament, the relevant minister, said that these people who composed the United Nations Working Group were just people who wandered in off the street. That the United Kingdom appealed against the determination. The Working Group reiterated their determination in more forceful language in 2018, February. So they're the three principal elements that hold us together as people and as states to re able to relate to each other through a body of laws, to settle our differences through laws, all of them trashed, smashed by the United Kingdom, Sweden and the United States. And this reflects upon us, as Gabrielle just mentioned, that the capacity of the United States takes upon itself to reach into any society, anywhere, and pluck out those that it doesn't like for the moment, who feels that the, the Department of Justice or the, the CIA or one or other of the United States institutions feel that you've offended them. They take you out and throw you into a dungeon for 175 years. This is a bleak circumstance that I've described, but there are means to, well, I see this, that Julian Assange and his freedom falls upon the shoulders of civil society. There are no lawyers going to get Julian out. Julian, they will helpfully delay and fight ferociously and fiercely for the application of laws. But it is a veil over a political persecution. The, the point is to remove from us the capacity to relate to each other through the accumulation of knowledge. And just the last point, which interests me, you know, is that Julian, in a, a brilliant moment of insight, understood that you could hold on the internet information which all people all over the world who had an access to a computer, any library could do, could access this information and build a body of knowledge with which they could review government policy or create <laughs> policy for all genius, in my view, emerges from the mass, from us. So that and in, uh, in uh, Bitcoin, again, another thing that attracts me is the capacity to decentralize and have a peer-to-peer -peer relationship so that we can extend, deepen and further our understanding of each other and our contribution to the structure and nature of our communities.